Hey y'all, what's up? So, I figured I'd do videos while I'm painting this thing. A lot of people may not like this video, but oh well, life goes on. Yeah, that's the truth. I can't make people get on there. But here goes. This is my review about Captain Marvel movie. Now I did my research to find out exactly what she said. You know? So, it's not that she hates old white men, really. She just figures more women should interview celebrities. That's what I got my take on it. And then we've seen so many videos. Oh, she hates white guys. Like, whatever. That doesn't... <laughs> Oh, well, the only thing that bothers me is this part, okay? Now, yes, more men probably do have higher positions than women, okay? But there are women who have positions that are managers or, let's say, supervisors who probably send people out to do reporting to interview celebrities, right? So, one thing she didn't really think about, to me at least, is these women are probably sending out the men to do these interviews, you know? So, why does she not have a problem with women in higher positions sending out the white males to do these interviews? Why aren't these women in higher positions sending out more women to do the interviews, you know? Did she not think about that part? I was like, I thought about that a couple of days later. When I heard what she said, so I wanted to do my research. It's just the way I see it. Because it's not all... Because if you say, well, women don't have those compositions to send people out in. Yeah, right. Whatever. You know? You gotta think about the big picture. It's always, you know, find the dots, connect the dots, and then follow them. That's what I did. Now, I don't know how many women are in that position to send out who they want to interview, whoever, you know. But you've got to think, there has to be women, I will say a lot of women probably, maybe, in that position to send them out. So, okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, well. But, about the movie, here it goes. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to start at. Okay, let's do this. The Cree... Was awesome in the movie, okay? I like the Kree. The Skrulls, I think that's what they're called, were awesome too. I really did like those sets of characters. Alright? I don't know if you saw the movie yet, so I'm. I can't do it without spoils. If I get spoils away, I'm sorry. Spoil alert, maybe! Kinda. I don't know. Here it goes. And then. Let's start from the bottom. What I would think would the bottom would go up. The cat. Oh, I want that cat. I would love to have that cat. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I don't think <laughs> they, yeah, they use the cat enough, but I just wanted to see the cat do more. All right? I just wanted to see the cat do a lot more. It even did a lot to me, but still, I would like to have seen, I would like to see, uh, I guess it did show up, but still. So, uh, that part was awesome. Uh, Jackson was really good in it. I liked how he got himself to be able to put himself, what, like 10 years? Way back then? More than 10 years, 15, 20 years. 80, 94, was it? 95? And he had to act like he didn't know anything. It's like, how do you do that? How does your brain... How is that, how is like, okay, I'm not supposed to know any of this, and there's just her, and I met her. How is like, how does he hold back, like, I know so much, and you know nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. I know, okay. So, Jackson did awesome. Agent Carter actually did pretty good, too. I liked him in it. I don't know his real name. I know he had an interview telling us how stupid, how white males can be so stupid, stuff like that. Don't care. And uh, all the surrounding supporting characters 
We're good too. You probably think I should just stop there. I should just stop there. So yeah. I would not oh God. Okay. I am just gonna put it this way, okay? Here goes. <laughs> Brie Larson. Okay. This is the only way I can Nah, it's not even being nice. I'm, I was like, I'm trying to be nice in a way, but I'm just, uh, okay. She reminded me of that chick. Sorry, that woman from Twilight. If you have not seen that, then if you don't ever want to see it, like I said, I like the family in it. I like the family. It's the only thing I like about the Collins. I think it's the, it's the only thing I like about the movie. But she, the main, I don't even know her name. The main actress, like. The one who fell and got married. Twilight, if you have never seen it. Okay. Married the vampire. Whatever her name is. She, the way she acts, is she basically has moved her mouth, had no emotion, no personality, zippo, do da day. Nothing. This is who Brie Larson reminded me of. Because every time she would, when she was on, on screen, you know, she would talk. And I, I was watching her. And watching her expressions, watching how she moved and stuff, see how she was acting, I was like, uh, "Alrighty then." I don't. There had to be at least, let's say, ten other women that they could have found to play this character, who had personality, who had. Acting ability, you know? That's all I'm going to say. It's like, she wasn't there. She wasn't in her head. She wasn't in the character, you know? She wasn't, it was like, I'm just here. I'm, I'm going to say my lines, and, and hopefully the camera goes away. That is the way I felt watching her. That is really how I felt. She wasn't in the character. She didn't know anything about the character. I'm sorry, you don't like that. That is just my personal opinion. I have nothing against her, really. I've never seen anything else she was in. It's just, she reminded me of the other woman that they related. They had the same acting coach. Other than that, take her away, and the movie was really good. I thought the movie was really good. I was surprised. Because by the end of it, I was like, man, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad at all. Yeah, it was pretty good, but she did not make it good. The surrounding cast made it good, because I could completely ignore her. Basically, by the end of the movie, I, I really had to. I had to focus on the, the, the villains, uh, the supporting cast, the action, because she just... It would just drive me nuts the whole way through it. It's like, what is wrong with this? What, what is she? Is that the way she was supposed to act? I went uh, to GameStop and talked to the employees there. Who I talked to like once, a couple times, maybe like twice a month. I go there, and one of the sales folks there agreed with me, but her explanation. Was what I agree with totally. She said they didn't know what to do with her. The writers didn't know what to do with her. And when she said that, I was like, that is totally correct. They had no idea what to do with her. It's like, here she is. Here's the character. What are you going to do? And the writers are like, what the hell do you want to do with her? And don't start saying I have something against women playing characters. I don't. There are so many female characters, women actors, that are really freaking awesome. 
so many. She just wasn't. Just not. Just. If I wonder how I can like the movie and not like the main character. There's a bunch of movies that people like the movie and didn't like the main character. So don't even give me that. Can you see it yet? A little bit? Nope. Not really? Nope. It still looks white. <laughs> I'm just trying to thicken it up and getting spots I missed. I don't know. I just... If I don't think about her, I'd give the cast, the story, the villains, I'd give it a B. If I put her in the mix and think about her acting through the whole thing, I'd probably give it a D if I had to give the whole thing together. Even her best friend. I was at Life of the Queen. Even she did pretty good, even though she wasn't in it that much. And the whole scene at her house, that was really good. So, yeah. Let's take her out of the mix. And it was a pretty good movie. Supporting cast wise. Just keep that there. That this is just like. I don't care what people write it. Even though people are watching Rotten Tomatoes like. Oh my god. They're all trolls. Oh mark it down. I think. She may have said this stuff. Even bad publicity is good, you know? No matter how bad you say something is, it still brings people to it, you know? It still brings publicity. It's, it's, it's good and bad. We all know that. But even bad. Because if she would never have said that, do you think this movie would be as hyped as it was? Do you? Really? Not even close. Not even a little bit. And now, I don't know if it's true or not, just videos people have made that Disney may have... I don't know if this is true. It's just the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Of them buying tickets, a bunch of tickets, you know, but no one's showing up to watch it. And everybody has pictures of empty theaters. They're like, that can be fake. You know, you can do it before everybody gets so You can do it after everybody's gone. It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't really have. I could go to a theater, any theater, and say, well, this is from this, and there ain't nobody here. Now, I don't buy everything I read or watch. But if Disney did buy those tickets, just to pump up the movie, doesn't make sense, because they'd be getting this money back somehow, wouldn't they? Why go through all that, you know, just to pump this movie up? Because she's an endgame. I'm not sure how people are going to take endgame when she shows up. I don't know what's going to happen at endgame now, because she's in it. Do I think they made a wrong choice by putting her in it? If she acts any way she does in her movie, yeah. Because all those characters in there, they have personality, you know? They just don't. She, they, they all have personality, you know? They know all how to act. We've seen 10 years or so of all these characters now in one movie. 
you know how they act. You know their personalities, you know? You can't really fake. I know what I'm talking about. Well, thank you for watching this, and that is just my opinion, pretty much. Like I said, it was good if you just count the main cast, the supporting cast, and take her out of it. All right. I'll see what happens then. Yeah. Can't get off that tangent. Gotta hang it up. Gotta do what I do. Later all. Talk to you later.